Hello everybody. Good day. Today I'll be talking about how we can use machine learning to curb the spread of coronavirus. How can we use the knowledge of machine learning to curb the spread of coronavirus? What is machine learning? It's the training of machines to think intelligently, like humans, by learning from previous data, mistakes, etc., to predict the occurrence of an event before it happens. There are other applications of machine learning, but the focus here is on prediction. Can machine learning be used to curb the spread of coronavirus? That's the question. And my answer is yes, it can. What can be achieved through machine learning? Using ML, you can predict which cities or towns will be the next in a country with regards to the pandemic. You can also predict which particular lifestyle of people in a community is contributing more to the high incident rates. Thirdly, you can predict where most infections are occurring. E.g., is it airports, is it airplanes, is it uh, other forms of transportation, is it bars, clubs, you can predict. Fourthly, you can predict at what point Existing health care facilities will be overstretched. <clears throat> At what point existing health care facilities will be overstretched? That you can also predict through machine learning. Fifth, you can predict the rate of growth of the virus incident rate. That is, if, for example, there are currently 200 cases in your country today. When will it reach 500? What will be the incident rate in the next 24 hours? In the next 48 hours, you can predict it. How do we achieve this? We can achieve this by using the following features. Number one, when you consider the culture of a group of people by locality. The culture of a group of people by locality. Number two, when you consider the culture of a group of people by age or gender. Number three, when you consider the quality of healthcare in a town. Quality of healthcare includes the quality of health personnel, the quality of the hospitals. Is there electricity? The quality of equipment they have there and several other yardsticks used to to rate good healthcare in an environment. The fourth point is if you look at the lifestyle of a group of people by locality. Now I have differentiated lifestyle from culture. Culture basically is how over time people behave. Lifestyle is currently how people behave. The fifth point is lifestyle of a group of people by age gender, religion, philosophy. The sixth point is perception of the government of the day in each country to the virus. Also, perception of the people in each country. The seventh point is priority of the government of the day in each country. The eighth point is population spread by locality, how densely populated is an area that will affect, mitigate uh, the the spread. That that it, uh, it can affect the rate of of the virus spreading. And the ninth point is perception of the people towards government information, whether they perceive the government has been sincere or not. These are some of the features when you are building a machine learning model. You take these features into cognizance and you should be able to 90, 95 or even 98% accuracy 
advise any government and predict the trend the coronavirus is take is 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 going so what's the way forward now i call on all nations affected to engage the services of ml engineers statisticians data scientists deep learning engineers though we might not really be using much of deep learning because we are dealing with human behavior so there is less reliance on auto feature extraction now this battle can only be won by curbing the spread this can be achieved when the advice from the above people are taken by government and the second step is curing those already have infected or affected this of course is for those in the medical profession the cdc's in each country who lab scientists pharmacists pharmacologists and all other people within the field of science so what's my conclusion now if the features listed in the previous slides can be used ml engineers can use any trusted models but the key thing is to correctly identify the effect of each feature to the overall result. That is, the features must be converted to numeric stroke, distinct values, and the probability of them occurring or the effect of the occurrence used in the algorithm, which is then used in the model. Some ML approach I'll recommend is linear regression, logistic regression, decision trees. Of course, you can use other ones now these features contribute to the spread so if you tackle these features because they're actually social behaviors then you can be talking about copying the increase in the incident rates so there are various ways you can tackle it total lockdown which some countries have started doing enlightenment stakeholders meeting and several other ones based on the peculiarity of each country. So I end by saying we have overcome. Thank you for listening to this short video. See you next time.